Good day mates and welcome back for another marvellous video. Now today I will share an easy and really simple no repeat hit workout in less than 10 minutes. Perfect for your busy schedule. So let's get started with a simple one minute plank position. Now this exercise is the perfect starter for this hit no repeat workout. Make sure you engage your abs and your torso to rise up onto your toes. Keeping your hips and stomach off the ground. Your body should form a straight line. And for more challenge, try elbow planking to increase intensity. Hold this position for the remaining of the round. And also avoid arching your back or saggy hips maintain straight line position as possible. Hold it steady, last 10 seconds to go for this plank position round. Keep it steady, maintain a straight line. Okay, next round would be the frogger. Very basic move, similar to plank tuck. Push both feet towards the outside of your elbows, then bend knees. Then return to plank position, same position as before. Keep your palms planted on the ground the whole time and repeat this movement for the rest of the round. Same as plank position, avoid arching your back or sagging hips, maintain straight line position as possible. Okay, get ready for the next round, it's gonna be star jacks. Okay, let's go, start jumping, start hopping. Star jacks, let's go, let's go. Move your feet, jump, jump, jump. So you haven't done a star jack before, then I'll teach you. Start with stand tall with your feet together and your arms resting naturally by your sides. Then begin the star jack by jumping up explosively. As you jump, simultaneously spread your legs wide open wide apart and extend your arms out to the sides. Your body should form a star shape in the air, resembling a neck. Now in mid-air, your legs should be wider than shoulder width apart and your arms should be fully extended to the sides, parallel to the ground. Now as you come down from the jump, bring your legs back together and your arms back to the starting position. Okay, next would be shuffle hop, one of my favorites. So let's stand with your feet width apart and your knees slightly bent. Keep your upper body relaxed, then lift your right foot slightly and shift your weight to the left foot. Slide your right foot to the side, keeping it close to the ground. As you slide, the left foot will follow and come close to your right foot. Now, as your right foot reaches the end of the slide, Hop off your left foot and switch your weight to the right foot and at the same time slide your left foot out to the side. Mirroring the movement of the previous step. Now your right foot will follow and come closer to your left foot. Just continue alternating the slide and hop motion from side to side. Creating a rhythmic shuffle movement. Focus on maintaining smooth and fluid motion. Okay, for this round, it's gonna be in and out. It's really simple. Just move forward and backward position. In a squat position though, forward, backward. Don't have to bend your knees thoroughly. Make it a little simple um, jumping, hop. You can also do lateral jumps, 180 jumps, side jumps same position squat position but this time 
you don't have to really bend it just do a simple hop forward and backward do it slowly if you want to if you want a little bit intensity do it a little bit faster okay for this round it's going to be the side lunges stand tall with your feet shoulder width apart and your arms relax by your sides now take a wide step to the right with your right foot shifting your body weight to the right side keep your left foot firmly planted on the ground as you step to the side bend your right knee and lower your body into a lunge position push your hips back and keep your chest lifted your right knee should be directly above your right ankle and your left leg should be extended with your left foot remaining flat on the ground push off your right foot and return to the starting position by extending your right leg and bring it back next to your left leg perform the same movement on the opposite side next round will be the shoulder tap begin with a plank position with your hands directly under your shoulder and your body forming a straight line from head to heel engage your core and maintain a stable plank position throughout the exercise now to prevent excessive movement and maintain proper form focus on keeping your core engaged and your hips steadily avoid rotating your hips or lifting your glutes too high lift your right hand off the ground and reach across to your left shoulder lightly tapping it with your fingertips while doing this maintaining your body stability and avoid shifting your weight after tapping your left shoulder place your right hand back on the ground returning to the starting plank position repeat the same movement with your left hand reaching across to tap your right shoulder maintaining proper form and stability throughout the exercise okay last two exercises to go bouncing begin by lifting one foot slightly off the ground and quickly alternate with the other foot your feet should not lift too high off the ground just enough to create a jogging or bouncing motion now as you lift your feet swing your arms in sync with the opposite leg for example when your right foot is lifted your left arm should move forward and vice versa keep your elbows bent at approximately a 90 degree angle and as you lift each foot focus on landing softly on the balls of your feet avoid heavy impacts or excessive pounding as this can strain your joint maintain a light and controlled movement throughout the round Okay mates, now to finish this no repeat hip workout, let's start with the cool down. Start with gentle stretches and gradually increase the intensity as your muscles relax. Be aware of any discomfort though or any pain and never force a stretch beyond your comfort level. Include stretches that target multiple muscle groups simultaneously like any yoga pose will do. Focus on deep breathing, one of the most important with um, um, cool down. Inhale deeply and as you exhale, relax into the stretch a little more. This can help enhance the effectiveness of the stretch and also it promotes relaxation. And also remember to hydrate yourself with water during and after your workout. Keep it cool, keep it simple no major movements at all light bounce will do light stretch and there you have it no repeat hit workout and if you got value out of this video please feel free to support this channel and i hope you enjoy the exercise in under 10 minutes and also click the bell button and Feel free to watch my other videos here and I'll see you there.